Hello guys and welcome to another David Samalata. In today's video I will show you how to buy cars at an auction as a public buyer. You don't have to be a dealer to buy at auctions and it's only going to cost $200 and then boom you're a member and now you're saving and you're buying some cars. Not only that but I will show you some of the cars that's for sale. Some cars you don't really need to bid on them and some cars you cannot bid on because you're a public buyer, but you can buy a lot of different cars. There's some cars, basically, it's already listed price. And before it goes up for sale, you get a chance to actually buy it now, kind of like eBay, and then you get to pick it up that same day, possibly, or whatever, maybe the day after the auction, but who cares? That's not really important. The important thing is, before it goes up on auction, you can buy it. And right now it is Thursday. Tomorrow we're gonna be going to an auction. So I have already bought my membership, but in the video that I'm getting ready to show you, I have not bought my membership, but I decided to actually show some cars to you. Now here's the cool thing, guys. Let's say you really don't really care about buying cars and selling them, but you do wanna buy a car for yourself. You don't wanna really pay the top dollar that the dealer has you just got your tax money back and you're thinking, you know what, maybe this $5,000 that I got back can go towards a down payment for a brand new car or maybe you could just use like $1,000 of it and buy yourself a really nice used car. Maybe it's got a missing bumper, but who cares because you could go to LKQ, pick a part, stick another bumper on there and you're good to go. The more important thing is you're not gonna have a car payment and chances are Many of you guys are gonna be getting your tax refunds this year because it is the tax season. The most popular season where all the dealers are waiting for your money. Guys, I have taken the dealership course and I can become a car dealer, but I enjoy sharing my knowledge with you guys and to help you save money and to help you make some money. So not only that you get to save money and actually buy a car yourself as a public, you could also turn around and flip the car down the, down the line by just putting a for sale sign on it, drive it to work, chances are somebody is gonna buy it from you, maybe like another employee. And guess what? Maybe you bought it for a thousand, you just sold it for two, now you could buy a better car for two thousand dollars. So let me show you some of these cars that you could buy and also let me show you how to register first. And oh yeah guys, if you haven't done your taxes already, then feel free to contact my friend Alex He's a CPA and he's really good at what he does with fair prices. Here's his card and his number. Let him know Zimaleta sent you. Good luck. Hey guys, in this video, I wanna show you how to actually buy your membership. The reason I'm actually showing you this because it's actually not common sense. It actually took me like at least like five minutes to actually find this because you would think this ability to, to actually register to buy would be very easy to find, uh, but it's not. So basically it's not in my auction center, it's not in my dashboard, it's not in my purchase history, it's like nowhere. But instead, the question would be, you need to select YIAA. And once you select that, you could actually click register to buy. And then you select if you're an individual And then you, then you fill out your information, first, last, login, and stuff like that. So then you go ahead and click next, and you could go ahead and actually register to buy. Hey guys, if you already had your membership and you're trying to renew it, you're gonna have to do it from uh, the website. I haven't seen any other options to do it through the app or through the website on your mobile. So you might have to actually log in uh, from the computer. So once you actually log in and you go to your dashboard, uh, you will see uh, to be paid it says $200 and it says your registration has expired renew your account that's what we're so gonna So guys click. I clicked there and basically scroll down and you can see payment is $200 and I need to select my card basically I have paid but the only thing it, it said to me it's payment confirmation and then I have payment confirmation number and then I get to print my form so I'm gonna go ahead and print it guys here's the payment confirmation it does have a signature and date. I may need to actually sign and date it and then deliver to them locally. 
which I will do tomorrow. I just printed it up. And here's the document. Looks like they might want a physical type of document to be delivered once you actually paid for your membership. So I will sign this and deliver it to them tomorrow. Guys, I have went back to my dashboard and as you could see, to be paid, it's zero. And it does say uh, pending renewal verification. I wanna show you how you could buy cars at auctions and you don't have to be a car dealer to do it. You can be a public buyer. Uh, the auction that I'm actually using, it's actually called IAA auction. It's like IAAI.com. I, I and they have like different auctions available. The one I like to go to is at Charlotte, North Carolina. Over here, it shows basically like which days, like which auction is going to be open. So if I'm going to choose on Friday, I could see that the Atlanta one's going to be open, Savannah, Boston. This Friday, I could actually look at what cars are going up uh, for sale on Monday in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I have selected Monday, so we should technically get Charlotte in here. So let's go ahead and actually enter this auction and look at what kind of cars are going to be for sale. I was looking to see if I could actually select the filter for uh, I buy now. Basically, I think it's what it's called. Um, you could actually see the prices. By the way, guys, I have downloaded this app onto my phone and we're actually looking at cars straight to the app. So over here, you can see what's listed. The only thing I don't like that in the app, you cannot see what prices they are. So I'm actually looking at the app for the first time and I'm going to try to see if you can't see um, the actual prices. So maybe not. Let's just go, go ahead and go towards the very, very front. So what do we have for sale, if anything interesting? So we have a 2009 Nissan Maxima, Ford Fusion, Honda Accord 2017. So let's see, for instance, this Nissan Maxima. Let's just go in for that. Now this is uh, see a vehicle ski. You can see a picture of the vehicle ski by tapping the key icon. So this is just showing me a couple things here, um, getting me acquainted with the app itself. So share stock with other users. You can now share stock with other users by tapping the share icon. Okay, seems like it's uh, pretty interesting. So you can pre-bid um, for this car. So current bid is zero. Now, if I wanted to actually buy this car, I can actually go on Friday and I could actually check some of these cars out. So my plan is, guys, um, is to record videos uh, at auctions and in the app itself to where, you know, like we could look at what cars are for sale and then we could see um, if these cars are any good, uh, if they're not good, so that we could actually, you know, bid on these cars. So technically, like, for instance, like where I'm looking at this and I'm like seeing like what's wrong with it, right? We could see it's got slight, I wouldn't even call it so much a quarter panel damage, but uh, this would be um, uh, the C portion cross section C. I forgot like exactly what it's called, but I'm, I might remember in a second. But anyways, if I go to the auction, I will be able to start this car up. I'll be able to drive it. I'll be able to see if the suspension's okay, if it starts okay, if it works okay. And I think if you're trying to buy cars, um, you cannot really assume that you're looking at a car that's the only damage you're going to be seeing. This is why I was like pointing these things out. You cannot like really look at it and say, you know what, it's got the slight little quarter panel damage, door slightly open, and maybe they forgot to close it, or maybe it's because it's so damaged that it doesn't close here. And then, you know, because of the accident, you could kind of see, see if you could open this up further. Uh, you can kind of see that it's kind of damaged all the way from the passenger right fender and the door and this basically area right here so possibly that rim is damaged or maybe the alignment's off you know it might be so you could look at it by the picture like this really quickly and be able to tell but you could also go into um, other details so so basically for this particular car you know who can bid on the car and it says that public basically cannot bid because it's not checked marked. And I would be the public. And chances are, if you're looking at this, if you're not a dealer, um, and if you're trying to 
see if it makes sense for you to maybe start reselling cars or maybe you need, you know, like parts and you want to become a public buyer because you're just doing this on the side. Maybe this is going to be like a good option because you could always upgrade. If you become a car dealer, uh, you could always upgrade. Uh, and for me, this is definitely an option. I already passed the dealer course. I do have my commercial zone property. I can become a dealer if I want to. I just am not in a position to become one at this time. So um, so basically, who can bid? Uh, they put scrapper, exporter, dealer, disclaimer. Okay, rebuilder. Interesting. Interesting that they have scrapper in here. I'm actually considering um, also becoming a scrapper, um, but... I thought it was really easy to become a scrapper. So I'm kind of like wondering what is the actual requirements to actually become a scrapper. But technically, guys, um, the easiest way to become a dealer, you know, you could actually become a dealer uh, by just build, build, bidding for other dealers. It's a little bit less hassle, I guess. Um, probably like a little bit less cost because technically as a dealer, I would be able to go in there and buy these cars and you know, and basically just bring them home, you know, and you just need to basically have your certification and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to have like a dealer a lot. So maybe this would be like a right option for me because I'm really not set up for having a car dealership at this point. So let's try to find some cars uh, that we can bid on. Chances are some of these cars, it's like um, sometimes, you know, like, like light damages, you can... Um, bid on them you know because technically they want public to buy a car that's maybe like this like a bumper just needs to be reattached at least that's what it looks like right and you look at this picture like okay so it needs a light uh you know the the trunk is bent a lot i'm surprised at this damage like how did it curl over here towards the top um wow you know so Here's what the inside looks. It looks like a really nice car. Um, it's a Honda, of course. Now this rear seat has been really impacted. Like, looks like it fell out unless somebody removed it. So you could see there's keys here. So people have already bidded this car up for $1,925. It looks really nice. Very nice. Looks brand new almost. Um, I mean, 2017 after all. Um, now, it would be interesting, like, if you're buying, basically, you would want to make sure that um, this car is good, it starts, you want to make sure you're not going to have any surprises, and take a look at some of this stuff. But a lot of people have asked me um, last year, uh, well, actually, the year before that, like, when I had my public buyer license, if I was a dealer, and I told them I'm a public buyer and how to get that and stuff. Because a lot of people, they really don't know that they could just become a public dealer. I mean, public buyer. And they could just buy cars. And uh, one of the reasons you might want to become that uh, is maybe you want to save. And you just want to buy a car for very good money. So in this particular case, uh, and I'm just you know talking to you guys that possibly, you know, they haven't, you know, bought cars like this before. And we're considering to do it, you know. I just want to be sure that I give you some insights, okay? So for a car like this, you could see uh, there's a current bid on it, uh, which I already said. So this is kind of like people are pre-bidding. So chances are when it goes up for auction, this is the current bid uh, that they're going to start the car off at. And maybe early on in auction, people are still like really not sure. They might think that's a really high price and maybe they're not going to go for it. So chances are somebody could pre-bid and they might actually win the car at a pre-bid. Um, just because they really bid it up. Um, uh, right now, it is um, Thursday, I believe. And tomorrow's Friday, uh, which should be Valentine's Day. I'm going to see if they are open because I will be renewing my license today. So I would like to actually drive to the auction tomorrow and take a look at some of these cars. Now, some of the cars that's kind of like interested to me would be kind of like, for instance, like this Jeep Liberty. Um, so this is not open to the public. One of the reasons is, um, for instance, like this one's got like a roof damage and stuff. I really don't care about that. Um, they have 
something that I like. They have a lot of times the transmissions for sprinter vans, and I deal a lot with sprinter vans. So chances are I could just, you know, buy it pennies and a dollar, and I could have a transmission out of it and four-wheel drive system because I'm thinking about doing that conversion. But that's um, on another topic. Let's see if we could find a decent car because I want to have, like, a good example Let's see if this is available to the public. No, it's not. But let's say this car was available to the public, right? And <clears throat> let's say you're looking for a cheap car that you want to buy. You don't want to go to the dealer. Maybe you have, like, you you know, maybe you just get your taxes back, you know, and um, you're trying to use the tax money for buying a car. And uh, instead of going to the dealer and maybe, like, putting a down payment on one and having payments, you might just want to be able to pick up a car, uh, at a car auction and and basically just use that car as a car that you're going to be driving uh, daily uh, you know I'm looking at something like this because why I mean it looks like a daily driver looks like it's not going to be like that expensive and chances are you could probably sell it and make some good money on it so the actual value on this is like 2650 I'm not saying this is a good buy this is probably uh, a good example but about you know, buy now price. You see how there's like a buy now price, okay? Now, I believe a buy now, you know, it's it has nothing to do with bidding. So I believe a public can actually buy it. So let's see if we could click buy now, even though I really don't want to buy this. My account is not set up right now for buying because, uh, what? It's not, it's not working. But anyways, it's not set up right now because I haven't renewed... Uh, okay, look, here's a little disclaimer, disclaimer, and this is going to be good for me to know too. You cannot bid slash buy. Okay, this is a message for me. You are either a guest buyer or the status of your account does not permit you to buy. Okay, so this is just a little thing for me. So not going to be very helpful in your case if you're trying to wonder if you could actually bid on cars like that or not. So here's a Jeep Commander. Um I do think these things actually look kind of nice. They remind me of Hummers. I think this was uh, Jeep's attempt to try to uh, have a like a similar type of Jeep, you know, to compete with a Hummer. It's got similar type of styling where they're kind of boxy. But the good thing about these things, usually they're four-wheel drive and they have the Mercedes printer transmission. A lot of times they even have a diesel engine. So in, in this case, public buyer can bid on it, as you could see. So, and it seems like a car that you could just pick up, you know, replace like one light on it and attach a bumper with some zip ties and you'll be good and you could just go to work on it, you know. So let's go back and see if we could find some cars that you could just buy now. I wish they made it a little bit easier to navigate in here to where like it actually shows up like a little icon if public buyer can bid on it or not. But let's try to find a decent type of car. Let's see if this uh, Nissan Altima, if you're able to actually buy it. So this is for the public. And so we have a current bid of 500, 2013. You know, this is a, you know, pretty nice little car. It's like seven years old. You know, uh, the damage, it's not that huge. You know, this door's kind of messed up and the fender. So possibly if you you know repair oh this door is messed up as well just some light reflections and some scratches in the quarter panel but basically a pretty decent car um oh here's the chrysler 300 uh, i do like these um this seems like a regular model this is not a hemi does not even have wheels this one would probably go for very cheap uh last year when i was actually repairing mine i needed a lot of parts a car like this could have been a very good parts supply for me. It seems like they don't have a key for this one. And you could actually buy now for $850. Interesting. I actually think this is quite high. Um, <clears throat> because you will have fees on top of this. So it's going to be like about like $400 in fees on top of it. So you're going to be looking at about $1,200, $1,250, possibly $1,300 for this type of car. 
But my Chrysler 300, which was a limited edition, was a very nice Chrysler. Had leather seats and everything. I bought for $900. But it had quite a bit more damage. Like this one, if you kind of think about it, like besides the wheels not being here, I mean, it's actually in pretty good condition. And I think somebody possibly had some really nice rims on it. And they removed them. So that's probably why they're off. And let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not look correctly? So public cannot technically bid on it. Who can bid? But I'm wondering if public can just buy now. Because I think the buy now, you can just buy now. I, I believe that's how it works. At least that's how it used to be. But I will clarify it. If I'm not in this video, I'm going to clarify it in another video. Um, because one of the reasons that you might want to become a public buyer is just to buy a car for yourself and just save. And you could just easily go back, pick up another car, maybe like use it for parts. And, you know, take whatever you want and then either scrap it out, part it out, you know, um, or take it back to the auction and get your money back. So Chrysler Sebring, uh, one interesting thing about them, they also used Mercedes engines and transmission. So it seems like you get this car for like 800 bucks, like a thousand ton. Not a bad deal because most likely you could sell this thing for close to five. Let's see what the actual value. Actual value is 5,760. So... It's probably got a pretty good value. You could probably easily just, you know, fix it really quickly and just put it up for 4000 while you're driving it. And uh, Dodge Durango. Let's see. Another Jeep. 2018. It's got a lot of damage. Current bid, $4,000. I'm very surprised. Like, somebody wants this thing. Like, the buy... The buy now price is five thousand five hundred. So, if this car does get sold, um, I think they have up and I, I can't remember. I think they have up until Friday to just buy it at this price because Monday, once it goes up for sale, if it if they don't reach the buy now price, then it's just gonna go up for auction, and it's probably gonna start off at the current bid. I don't know if these Jeeps. Um, if they're popular, I'm really surprised at the, at the bit at this. You know, I know it's 2018 and all, but that's a lot of damage and a lot of unknowns. Here's a, a very nice pickup truck. Let's see what's wrong with it. That's actually like very light damage. I'm pretty sure somebody that's using these things for work would probably have similar damage. So 2019 current bid 9675 and public can bid on it. So that's probably going to be like a steal, you know, if you have this much cash, because this is probably a $60,000 truck, if not more. Let's see, there's some Chevy Express. If somebody wants to use this for like Expedite. Not, not a huge damage, some damage, but it's not expensive. These doors are very easy to, you know, to get. Looks like it's got a cage and lots of shelving. I'm surprised that people don't clean him up after they get into an accident. They just leave everything there. <clears throat> they don't take their stuff. Maybe they just left junk there. That's probably the thing. Um, let's see. Public can bid on it. Nobody's bidding on it. Chances are this thing is not going to go for that much money, but you know who knows. Oh, here's a Volvo semi truck. I usually don't see these at the auction. So current bid eight hundred dollars. That's a nice looking truck. Very nice looking truck. I mean, for eight hundred, I would love to have it. So it doesn't really show. Oh, so public is not allowed to bid on it. Doesn't really show if it has a key. Um, and I still haven't figured out, let's see, there's a, like, you know, if it starts or not. So loss, other, primary damage, none. Actual value, 126000 Run and drive. Actual cash value, $6,000. That's quite cheap. So, yeah. Oh, this is a 2005 after all. I mean, it's not like a new truck. 
Here's a pretty cool little car. Mercedes. Doesn't show that it has a key. Looks like it's got AMG rims. Is it an AMG though? Oh, let's see. It's a really nice looking engine. So, Pablo cannot bid on it. That's weird. So, Mercedes-Benz E-Class. I really like these. Every single Mercedes since 1995, they use the same transmission as the Mercedes Sprinter has. So, this one also shows that there's no key. Pablo can bid on it. This looks very interesting to me. I really like this. I like the E-Class Mercedes. By the way, the suspension on the Chrysler is from an E, 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 e Mercedes, E class. So let's see, last collision, front end, odometer ninety thousand miles, runs and drive, uh, key fob present. It's kind of weird that they actually don't have the picture of a key, or do they? They don't have the icon for it, so that's kind of strange. Um, it says front end. I don't see any front end damage. Let's see what the actual value is. Actual value, $2,300. Wow, cars have really dropped in value. Here's a Lexus. This used to be my dream car, this Lexus LS. Let's see, public cannot buy it. Very cool looking car. I bet they're still nice to drive. G Patriot. Let's see, Toyota Corolla. Mazda CX-5 Touring. Only 210 miles, what? This is actual, are you kidding me? Somebody like literally bought it, maybe test driving it and then crashed it. Wow, that is interesting. So public can buy a you know, bid on it. Uh, actual value $28,000 and current bid $10,000. Wow. So it's not a really big damage either. Here's a BMW. BMWs don't really go for a lot of money at auctions. They really are cheap. But if you're trying to buy one at the dealer, they're very expensive, especially at the BMW dealer. But they usually don't worth anything. Like, look at this thing. Current bid, $25. 2009 BMW. Public can bid on it. Um, there is no buy now. 112,000 miles, runs and drives. Um, actual value is probably a little bit exaggerated, but it's, um, $7,000 basically. I mean, it is a 2009, kind of makes sense, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. Usually BMWs, they go for very cheap at auctions from what I've seen, unless they're like an M model. Here's a Toyota Prius. I remember when these things like forty thousand dollars at the dealer, fifty thousand. So a bid of hundred and fifty dollars. Wow, public can bid on it. Eighty eight thousand miles on it starts. Does it run and drive? Um, it says starts. Um, airbags are intact. So actual value fourteen thousand dollars. So yeah, somebody's dreaming for that $150. It's going to go for more than that. Acura TLs, they really don't go for a lot of money. That's like one of the things that I was surprised. Even if they're like not smashed. I'm really surprised because that's a good car. Um, Public can buy it, which is good. $7,000 value. What is this thing here? Vehicle parts. Um, wow, uh, it's got all kinds of parts there. I don't know what that's about. That seems like a pretty light damage. Yeah, these, like, right here, like, 
these like chances are this BMW is gonna go for like thirty five hundred bucks probably, being the way that it is. I would be actually very curious to see, and chances are, I might be um. I'm, I might actually screen record the actual auction at the day of an auction just to see what some of these cars are going to be going for. That way you guys could get some ideas, but public cannot buy this, so not a huge, I guess, uh, thing. So actual cash value, you see 2250 That's like what, one of the things I'm surprised. I remember I actually, um, in 2012, I test drove one and it was like $90,000 discounted from 100000 and already like AC wasn't working. It was still brand new at auction. And I was like, just like blown away. I really liked it. I just enjoyed riding it. And then to see them go for such a cheap price at auctions. But of course, BMWs, they have so many electrical issues and mechanical issues. Basically, the Range Rovers, you know how they have issues. Well, they have BMW engines. And that's probably why they're just not that reliable once they get used. Uh, and the parts are very expensive. Now, these Cadillacs are very nice. I really like how these Cadillacs look. This is big. Looks like curtain airbags is blown. Um, where's that other side? Are we missing something? Curtain airbags is blown, but where's that other side? Wait a minute. I am confused. Why is curtain airbag blown on this? I don't see any damage. Do you guys? This is a nice, nice SUV. So public can buy it and keep up present. Runs and drives. Actual value, $10,000. Estimated repair cost, $8,000. Um, if it runs and drives, <laughs> I would just change the curtain airbags uh, or just remove them. Wow. But it's 205,000 miles. I'm really not sure how much this thing is going to go for. Very curious to see, though. So let's look at some of these other cars. So we have Chevrolet Camaro, black one. It's kind of smashed, but it doesn't seem like it's a huge, huge deal. Let's see, current bid 650, public can buy it, Adamer 27,000. Actual cash value, 20000 But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of uh, video for... Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope this video made a lot of sense to you. If it didn't, then I've done a bad job of teaching. But some of you guys have been writing to me in the comments that I'm actually a pretty good teacher, even better at university. Whether you guys were joking or not, I try my best in every video to educate you guys in the proper way to help you learn and we all learn together save money together make money together guys if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe and please hit a like in this video by the way guys most of these videos i end up only making one dollar so if you share this with a few of your friends just maybe hit the share button share it with facebook or twitter it would really help me out to actually get this message to more people because at the end of the day that is the most important thing so anyways guys Please subscribe, hit a like, and see you guys in my next video. And yes, hold on, come back tomorrow for another video where you actually get to see me walking around the auction, test driving some of the cars, giving you guys some of my insights, what I think and what I don't think, to give you like a little bit better idea how you could actually, as a new public buyer, be able to navigate at the dealer auctions, where to go, what does it cost, and... Let's drive some of these cars together. So I hope you guys join me in tomorrow's video. See you then. My name is Serge Zamaleta. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter Expedite or business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.